guys, what's going on? Topic today on this mode of vlog. I know my camera's a little bit leany. The topic of today, I vote should should coexist in this channel. Because I don't know if I want to keep on doing the vlogs. I love the vlogs. Yet I'm going back into my roots of gaming. I love my games. I love them. So I love both of them. That is an issue. I want to do going out. I want to go out and film for my vlog, which is fun for me and possibly fun for you. However, I want to, some, some days, I just want to sit back and game. So, this is a open discussion, nothing is set in stone, like nothing ever is. Um, I want your guys' thoughts as well on this topic. Like, put in a comment below, down there, uh, which one would you prefer seeing, gaming or vlogging, and you can add both, you can say both, if you say, um, um, vlogging, fine, I'm just going to keep this set up, if you say gaming, that might be a little bit more tricky. As I can, at the moment, only record gaming videos through my PlayStation and Xbox One. So not the worst in the world, but not the best. I can only select certain content that I can just tap and save. Which is a little issue. Little issue, but it's fine. Um, or both. If you want both, then I would take away the Tuesday vlog and swap that for um, a gaming video instead. As I think, as I go to my dad's house in Tuesday evening, and I haven't told him yet about the YouTubes, I told mom she was fine with it. Um, I would basically do more things on that on Thursday, which with gaming video on Tuesday, that's my that would be my day off. And if work wants me to come in on Tuesday, then I will switch. If work wants me to come in on a Thursday, and I would have Friday off. New Friday vlog. Projection cautious. So yeah, I want your guys' thoughts as well. Like I would love to add some gaming content on this channel as well. Or maybe if I uh, basically to Twitch, I would could find a way on somehow um, do those save those past streams and put them straight onto my channel. It's all ideas at the moment. Nothing's set in stone. I haven't set it on my whiteboard for my scheduling so yeah it's not set in stone at the moment which is fine and yes you will still get um, when I do have car maintenance and car stuff that will still be under the vlogs they will still be under vlogs so that should be fine it's 
I just wanting your guys' thoughts and ideas on how I could tackle this. Um, on other news, on other topics, remember um, last time I said I will do a story about a, like, about my experience in one of the airports. I went on holiday with my family. Well, I'm going to do that now. So, basically, we went to Turkey. It was like many, many, many years ago. Yeah, many years ago. And we just travelled to Turkey, went into a all-inclusive um, hotel. Which was like two hotels into one at a time. With I was happy with the holiday. I was so happy. I had so much fun. However, um, where we need to come back home, we were needing to go through a kind of military airport. So yeah, that you got like guns and stuff, and of course, I, as I'm diabetic, I need to take my medicine everywhere. If I don't take my medicine, then that would be screwed. The holiday would be screwed up, etc, etc. However, I think they could have resourced this better, but it was many years ago, they weren't sure. I... When we were going through security, I basically went last. Like, I know security at airports, and, like, I know it goes like, oh, it's my medicine, I need to take this with me to show them, um, in case I get stopped. So, basically, I got stopped at the military airport. I was young at the time. Um, they were basically, um, when they saw me pick out the bag, they go, like, kind of grabbed me, like, grabbed me on the collar and, like, pulled me to one side. I, I, I'm calm. I was calm at that point. I wasn't scared. I was, no, I was scared. Who wouldn't be scared of a security guard grabbing you and pulling you over? Um, I was scared. Uh, they were searching through my stuff, which was fine, it was, um, they were presuming I was carrying drugs, it was fine, I know the airport system and all that. The worst part is, they were pushing my mum away. They were pushing my mum, like, stay back, man. Like, who wouldn't run, which mother wouldn't run up to her kid when being stopped by security? Like, why would you... Uh, like, come on. Who... Which way are you going in? Um, who would push a mother of a son that they stalked um, away? Like, I know he goes like, what needs to be one on one, so for their safety. But oh, come on, I don't. I didn't have a weapon. I didn't have a weapon or anything apart from my needles. Where I, my needles were all used up, except for the me needles on my meds. They're the only needles on. They were the only needles on me. That's the thing. So, they were checking through the bag, my brother at the end of all this, we, we, we were carrying around the, my, and mine and his DS's in my bag with all of our games, all of our games in there, because of air travel we were bored, we were easily bored, so it goes like air travel, um, it's funny, at the end, he said, um, 
like hoping don't mess my game so <laughs> that's a that's a funny bit um no they go they would found they found my medicine after like like I would say five minutes five minutes no it wasn't even five minutes I would say three three minutes of no I would say Two minutes of searching. How do you be behind me around the red lights? And gosh, it's good to die. But, yeah. They, like, found my stuff. And, like, opened up as my stuff was in their individual case. As they should do. And, like, so I know the difference between one and another. Because, like, this one needs to be injected three times. This one is be injected once every day so so basically they found the needles and stuff which one time they, they found it and they say to each other um, pencil it and they basically, after like putting stuff on the table that they were taking out of my bag, they they just left me. They like gave me back my medicine. They're like, okay, you're fine, and just basically left me to basically repack my bag. After they taken out like almost everything, which was annoying, but from it's security at the airport. So, as well as your decision on gaming and gaming and uh, gaming versus log, I want you guys to post in the description. The worst airports. Like, tell me a story. I want this kind of be you a know, kind of community thing. That is probably out of the parking spot. A com community thing goes like, okay, tell me. Let's let's share our experiences. I tell you my story. You tell me yours. Add some notes. Um, bit about balloon. <laughs> I'm never gonna say that again. No down paper, never saying bada bing bada boom again. Um, so yeah. That is my airport story. I hope you guys enjoyed that said story. As you possibly can hear my tires squealing as I find a parking space. And this will surely do. And there we are, that's my journey done. That means it's the end of this video. So, if you like this video, leave a like. Post a comment below between gaming or vlog or both. If you want this channel to change into more of a gaming scenario uh, which I would like and yes hopefully soon soon I'll be showing you guys a website in the UK where they can build a computer for me with a price same I was a the price in there I'm just figuring out why I do have laptops at home but I cannot edit from those laptops. Um, I'll basically try from the website. I'll show you guys in possibly tomorrow's vlog. So yeah, enough of me rambling on as today's my rambling days. Be unique, have fun, have a great day. Bye-bye.